Today's devotional can be found in Genesis chapter 7, verse 18. And the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth, and the ark went upon the face of the waters. Alright, so. Everybody knows the story of Noah's ark, about how Noah not only rescued his family, but also two of every animal. And they went into an ark. I mean, everybody else mocked Noah for building that which was considered crazy. But Noah did as he was asked by the Lord, and they were blessed by being protected. When the, the whole earth was flooded, everything and everyone destroyed, and a new dispensation started. For the wickedness since Adam and Eve's time began on the mortal earth mm. <clears throat> had increased so much that it was too wicked for the Lord to continue with that. So he decided to wipe the slate clean and warn Noah and his family, who were the righteous people, to protect themselves and fortify themselves against the cleansing of the earth. And you know, the earth dispensations came throughout history when the priesthood is restored. That's a dispensation. When all eternal truths are restored, that's a dispensation. But they didn't get everything all at once. They couldn't handle everything all at once. But they got enough to prepare them for the eventual coming of Jesus Christ. And hence, God sacrificed the earth while preserving the righteous, that there would be an earth that could be clean and pure. And of course, it happened again and again. But guess what? This is the last dispensation. This will not happen again until the second coming of Christ, in which all the righteous shall be protected and all the wicked shall burn away and it shall be purified. And I'm talking about the earth here. The earth shall be purified with fire and the evil burned out of everyone and the evil burned away and so in the face of great calamities and trials if we listen to the Lord and fortify ourselves as much as we can and we fortify others as much as we can others as in our families who have chosen to stand with the Lord we shall be protected and Satan will not be able to corrupt us. On the other hand, if we leave ourselves unfortified and we ignore the warnings of the Lord, Satan will be able to catch us when we are vulnerable and he will destroy us. And it will be most unfortunate because we are all children of God first and foremost and Heavenly Father would absolutely love it if we came back home. But we've also got our free agency, the ability to choose between good and evil, and he knows we're not all going to come back. And he'd rather see us happy and have our agency to use than have everyone back, and that's how much he loves us. And you see, the living water is Jesus Christ, and his atonement lifted the earth from a darkness of ignorance that existed since the fall. And without that atonement, the earth would be forever in ignorant darkness. But because of the atonement, we are enlightened to the fact that we are children of God and that all things are done for our good. And that we have the power to build our eternal destinies by what we do now and in the time we have after life. But we also have our agency. And we should be sensible and be willing to listen to the Spirit, otherwise our mind will get flooded out by the pressures of, or the pressures of the world and 
we won't be able to feel the spirit of fulfilling pressures of the world too much. Even in today's world, we can be calm and sensible if we just listen to spirit, because it will help us to become organized. And when people are organized, they think better, and they choose better, and they live better. But it's our choice. For agency is one of the gifts given to us by our Lord and Master. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.